guys, welcome back to This Week with Live with Brandon and Tashina. Hey guys, so um, this week uh, we have a brand new student athlete uh, from Brevard. Uh, his name is Colin Duvall. Uh, so Colin has a 4.4 GPA. Uh, he's a star athlete on Brevard High's uh, tennis team and soccer team, both of which were state runner-up last year. Uh, he's a member of student council where he serves as the junior class president. Uh, he's the vice president of the FBLA chapter. Uh, he competes in the time science program at Brevard High School and won first place in the state last year with his uh, project. Uh, he's qualified, qualified to participate in the Intel ISEF competition in Los Angeles, California. It's pretty uh, prestigious. I don't, I'm not sure what that competition is, but normally when there's a lot of letters, it's important. So, uh, though my high school days are way behind me, so uh, I'm sure we had something like that back then. But congratulations, Colin. That is quite a list of accomplishments for uh, for a junior. Uh, and congratulations, being this week's student athlete of the week. All right, guys, check out this week's car deal of the week. All right, guys, this week's car deal of the week is this beautiful 2016 GMC Yukon, which is sitting here at Egolf Chrysler Jeep Dodge Ram Ford of Brevard's pre-owned lot in Brevard, North Carolina. This beautiful vehicle is a third row, fully loaded, leather interior, navigation, heated and air conditioned seats, four by four, for the low price of $44,634. Come check it out guys here at EGOF Chrysler Jeep Dodge Ram Ford of Brevard. Welcome back guys. All right, so we wanna to talk to y'all about what we're gonna do for the month of October here at EGOF. As you know, we've been trying to get out in our community, branch out, you know, help some good causes right here in our own town. So this month we are gonna do or the month of October, I'm sorry, we're gonna do um, a pillow drive. And we are um, sponsoring the Sharon House with that. We ask all of y'all to please bring in a gently used coat or a new coat um, and receive 10% off your service visit. So that is a great cause. The Sharing House helps out a lot of families in the county. They also help out the Haven, which is the county's homeless shelter. Um, and you know, a lot of people think homeless people, they, you know, automatically think, you know, drug addicts and, you know, things like that. But, you know, there are families out there who, you know, are evicted from their homes, can't find uh, affordable housing. Uh, and the Haven is really geared towards those people. So, um, Coat Drives are definitely going to help out families uh, who really need uh, clothes this winter. So, uh, we'll have a couple of boxes set up in the dealership. Uh, just bring it by and be sure to bring it by and get with us. We'll get you 10% off your service. Oh my gosh, Brendan, let me tell you what happened to me the other day. What happened? I had a low tire. My tire light come on. I've never had that happen. I totally panicked, didn't know what to do. I don't think people realize it's just that simple. You just put air in your tire. It doesn't take very much for those lights to come on. Just four pounds off and that light will come on so might not even look low so it can be kind of scary. The tech even said that with the weather change cool of the morning and hot of an afternoon will cause that. I didn't know that. It will. Uh, the weather change we deal with it a lot here on the lot. Uh, our vehicles stay here and it gets cold and the tire pressure just bleeds out but all you have to do is just come by and let us check your air pressure. Don't freak out. Oh no, what's this? A low tire? I don't got time for a low tire today. So much better now that I have my tire fixed. Whew. What? 
Welcome back, guys. I hope you enjoyed our little presentation on what to do if you get a uh, low tire. Uh, so this week, uh, this past week, Ryan, one of our fellow salespeople, you will see him out and about on our EGOF uh, Brevard YouTube page doing uh, walk-around videos and what have you. He just turned 30 this week, uh, so happy birthday to him. Uh, it's a big milestone, so um, that's the birthdays for the week. Thanks for watching it live with Brandon and Tashina. Check out the rest of our videos on our EGOF Brevard page, and we'll see you next week. Goodbye.